Hi everyone, Darlene here. I thought this morning, well, let me look. It's noon 30, so it's not morning anymore. I've been sleeping late lately, so uh, I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing, but when I am able to sleep, I just go with it. But um, So I'm sipping on my coffee, and I thought I would show you a little trick in case you don't know. I always assume everybody knows everything except for me, so... Um, so I, I was like, ah, they don't want to see this. But then I thought there might be a few of you out there who don't know this trick. And for you, I'm going to show it. Um, one way that I managed all the pages that I go to every day is by putting a folder on my, let's see, what do they call it here? Bookmark bar. First of all, I'm doing, this one is on Firefox. I'm going to show you Firefox today and IE. Um, your, your bar may be closed. If it is, it might look something like this. So what you do is if you don't see a bookmarks bar, go to the top of your screen and right click and make sure bookmarks toolbar is checked. Now you will see your bookmarks toolbar. When you go to my blog, you can put it down on this toolbar so that it's easy to, to access. You can do other blogs too, but that will make me cry a little bit. No, I'm just kidding. Okay, go to darlingissue.com and click on that globe thing, and you just slide it down to your toolbar. There it is. Now, when you start to get a lot of, so just to show you, you just click on that anytime. Anytime you miss me, I'm always there for you. It would just bring you right to my blog. If you want to shorten the name, right click on that, go to properties, and up here in name, you can shorten it. You could do DVD for Deals by Darlene. And there you go. Now, why is it handy to have my blog right there? Well, anytime you want to go to my Facebook pages, instead of going on Facebook and relying face on Facebook to show you my stuff in your news feed, um, you can just go to my blog, scroll down somewhere, and I will always have my Facebook pages somewhere for easy access. You can see I have a whole bunch of them. Or, if you wanted, you can also create folders up here right click new folder now let's say you have a whole bunch of Facebook pages that you like to check daily my new folder I will just type in Facebook pages I'm big on initials alright now let's say you would go to my deals by Darlene Facebook page there. Aren't you anxious for me to tell you when I get a new computer? I'm anxious. There will be a day that those words will come out of my mouth. Any day now. What would be really awful is if I get a new computer and then find out it's just my router that's slow. Okay, finally. So what you could do at this point if you wanted to keep that page handy dandy, you have your little folder right here. You can go to the page that you're on, grab the little thingy, what does it look like, a lock, drop it into that folder. Oops, it didn't work. Well, we're going to put it on the toolbar then, since it wants to go there. Now, grab it, left click, and try to move it into that folder, and it should go. Aha! Now, when you go to that folder, you will see Facebook Deals by Darlene. And you can go to all your favorite Facebook pages and just drop them all in that folder. Like you'll see, my blogs and my son's blog, when I go to blogs, I have all my blogs available. I have the stores that I like to look at. I have the tools that I use. I have my affiliate links, my email subscriptions, all that jazz. Um, 
I think that's all I wanted to show you on Firefox. So let's go over to IE. IE calls it, I believe, a favorites instead of bookmark. So go to the top of the screen in IE and right click. And why is it not working? Oh, because it's me trying to do something. Okay, right click and click on favorites bar. And that'll open up the favorites bar. Nope, that's not what I want. See how little I know? Oh, it is what I want. Sorry, I need more coffee. Well, speaking of, I will take a sip right now. Mmm. Yummy, yummy. Okay. All right, so your favorite bar is open. Now, for some reason, I can't figure out how to do folders on IE, and I, I only use IE when I need to. Um, so I don't really care that it's all messy, but you can see all my little uh, tabs there for my favorite pages that I go to. But what you do is you just go to the blog or whatever you're trying to save, and you're just going to slide it down onto the favorites. Um, okay, this is going to be confusing because I have so many things here. But you get the point. You would just grab, look, and that's actually my face. Um, you just grab it and slide it down somewhere, and it will it will show up. But I have so many that it's it's dropping off the screen, and and now I have my spinning wheel of death. Oh, there we go. See how it dropped it there? Then to shorten the name on that, you right click and you go to properties with I E. and then you wait patiently. I will say for sure I suffer from computer rage. Worse than any road rage I've ever experienced. Why is it not opening? Open! Stop it! Oh, my uncle is leaving, so if I say bye to someone, that's why. I've instructed him to ignore me. Ignore your niece talking to the screen. Okay, let's try this again. Right click, properties, and it's not going to cooperate. I guess I could have another sip of coffee. When you get into properties, you'll see the place where you can change the name. It's just not going to behave, and I don't know why. Or actually, maybe you can go to rename, and it's still not going to do it. There we go. Look at that. It's because it didn't like that I was doing it wrong. You can do it through properties, too. That's where you would change the name. Anytime you want to get rid of me, you right-click, delete, and at some point, I'll go bye-bye. With a normal computer, it will work. So that's it. I just wanted to show you how to do that. And I also wanted to point out while I'm here that this... Stop opening things now that I don't want you to. Um, this coupon, I'm going to be exchanging it with something else. So you will still be able to get it on coupons.com. But make sure you print that 75 off one jar of Barilla Pasta Sauce because we will be using that at some point. I can almost guarantee it. That's it. Have a good day, and I will see you soon.